Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sam Rajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries, marking the advent of the new year 2022. His Majesty the King wished the leaders abundant health and happiness, as well as further progress and prosperity to their countries and friendly people, praying to the Allah Almighty that the new year 2022 be a year of goodness, security, peace and prosperity for all countries and people of the world. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, highlighting the deep rooted historical fraternal ties binding the two brotherly countries, as well as the latest developments on the regional and Arab front. The letter was handed over to His Majesty the King by Kuwait's Foreign Minister and Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Ahmed Nasser Al Muhammad Al Sabah, during a meeting with His Majesty the King at Safriya Palace. Kuwait's Foreign Minister conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the Emir of Kuwait and greetings from the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Mish'al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, as well as their best wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty the King asked Dr. Sheikh Ahmed Nasser to convey his greetings and best wishes to the Emir of Kuwait and to the Crown Prince, expressing pride in the distinguished bilateral relations and their advanced level in various fields. His Majesty also noted the pioneering role of the Emir of Kuwait in strengthening the ties binding the two brotherly countries and boosting the pan-Arab work. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders, Crown Princes and Prime Ministers of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries, marking the advent of the new year 2022. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister expressed sincere congratulations to them wishing them continued health and happiness, as well as further progress and prosperity for their countries and people. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, further expressed the hope that security, peace and better welfare would prevail throughout the world for the whole of humanity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for His Majesty's support for charitable and humanitarian work inside and outside the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as extending helping hand to the needy and affected people of sisterly and friendly countries. This came on the occasion of awarding His Majesty the King the Abu Bakr as siddiq necklace, first class by the Arab Red Crescent and Red Cross organization. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad described the honor as a recognition of His Majesty the King's great humanitarian efforts at the regional and international levels. His Highness said His Majesty the King is a great humanitarian leader and a role model to emulate in the whole world and in the field of humanitarian work. For his part, the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Organization, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, advised that the award comes as a global recognition of His Majesty's tireless and continuous efforts and achievements in all fields, especially in the humanitarian area, and His Majesty's firm belief in tolerance and peaceful coexistence among nations and people. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on being awarded the Abu Bakr as siddiq Medal First Class by the Arab Red Crescent and Red Cross Organization. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the great efforts exerted by His Majesty the King and the service of humanity at various levels. He expressed his pride in His Majesty the King's prominent role in promoting the values of humanity, strengthening social cohesion and achieving peace and people based on the principle of peaceful coexistence which contributed to the consolidation of human relations in societies, religion and nations. He stressed that the medal honors his clear connotations and reflects a deep recognition of His Majesty the King's international role in community and humanitarian services as an inspiring leader and a role model in promoting peace and developing societies. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended His Majesty the King's distinguished initiatives that support humanitarian and development projects as well as enhance human rights according to a vision of responsibility towards humanity which is based on tolerance, peaceful coexistence among all, security, safety and prosperity, and to Bahrain continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. 
In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club yesterday held the 12th race meeting of the season at its race course in Rafa Sakhir. Their Highnesses, the Sheikhs, representatives of Alba, the sponsor of the race and equestrian sports fans attended the seven round race which was held for the Cups of Alba and Al Rafa Arabian Horses Cup. Trophies were presented to the winners at the end of the race.
The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the new year 2022 with a dazzling public celebration that witnessed artistic and entertainment shows, some of which were held for the first time in the kingdom. The celebration of the new year also included fireworks display and a giant screen that showed the countdown to the new year amidst lights and shapes depicting the features of joy and joy that adorned the kingdom's sky in conjunction with the good rain that prevailed in all parts of Bahrain. The celebration was held in the park area in Bahrain Bay in the presence of large crowds of citizens and residents in a celebration in which full adherence to the precautionary and preventative measures issued by the National Medical Task Force to address the coronavirus, which was taken into account. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that a total of 1,203,146 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,177,993 had taken the second dose, and 845,062 had received the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to call precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,323 with 129 recoveries, 656 registered new cases and no death reported. 198 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 347 are contacts of active cases and 111 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.